What's good up? This is Linux Dex, and today we will be having a look at the all new Ubuntu 18.04, which comes with major under the hood changes. In this version of Ubuntu, GNOME replaces Unity as the default desktop environment. As you can see, GNOME is customized to look like Unity. You have the notifications and quick settings, the calendar, and the activities overlay. And you can view all the installed applications here. I have installed the minimal version so there are just bare essentials like the browser installed here. But with the regular installation you get more pre-installed applications. The file manager has undergone some changes. The left panel looks more elegant now with the material icons. Another great improvement to notice is that the top bar and the dock on the left side dynamically change colors when a full screen application is open. You can see that the top panel and the dock become opaque when a full screen application is open and transparent when full screen application is closed. Personally, I think this is a nice touch to the desktop. We have Firefox browser installed as the default browser in Ubuntu 18.04. And we have Ubuntu software which is the default software store. From here you can install any and all the software that you need. Speaking of artwork, a nice set of vibrant wallpapers are included. Let's go with this one. Now let's check out the welcome to Ubuntu greeter. The first screen introduces you to the new Ubuntu desktop by showing you where everything is. The second screen asks you to set up Live Batch, which is the new mechanism for upgrading your kernel and all the applications without having to reboot your PC. Although this is cool, I'm going to pass for now. Now this is a very heated and debated chain that Ubuntu made to 18.04. Ubuntu developers have stated that the operating system will be collecting information like the model of your computer configuration and the software you install and your location. And obviously such a move is going to face a backlash from the Linux community. Anyway you can just disagree to the prompt and click on next. Here you can set up your computer with a name and a password. Ubuntu 18.04 provides an enhanced security by evaluating your password and prompting you to create a strong password. Plus point here. Moving on to settings, you can easily adjust the size and the position of the dock here. Ubuntu 18.04 has a much higher degree of accessibility by providing impaired users with a host of accessibility tools. Using online accounts, you can connect major online service providers like Google, Microsoft, Facebook to your Ubuntu. The overall experience with the latest Ubuntu is pretty good, but I did not like the fact that Ubuntu is making a bit to collect our info. But I do appreciate the fact that they are honest and open about it and they have provided a definite option to deny it. I appreciate Canonical for their transparency. Speaking of performance and stability, Ubuntu 18.04 is ready to be your daily driver. You can install your favorite Google Chrome browser, NVIDIA graphics drivers to increase the performance and Steam to get on with gaming. The links to the step-by-step -step guide videos are given in the description of this video. Do subscribe to my channel for more awesome Linux videos. This is Linux Tech signing out.